is when I want to shoot footage, and I am shooting now. Okay. And so your name is? I'm Tanya. Tanya. I'm Tanya Gross Millinery. Wow. So you have a design of hats, is that right? That's correct. And all of these hats that's here on this table or the counter, you actually design. Yes. I hand dye, hand block. Okay, I'm going to come back to you. you create, hand, hand stitch, each one of these. Yes, correct. So you hand dye and sketch and... I hand stitch, hand dye, hand block, everything. Everything. And then I hand pick all of the embellishments that go on each one. They're all made with love. They're, you could tell because when you actually look at them, look at this one here. This pretty brown one. It's just gorgeous. Thank you. This one was featured at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week for spring of this year. So okay, okay. I'm proud of that one. I, that was um, part of what I do is partner with other designers. So this was at the request of a designer named Pamela Rowland. So this was showing at Mercedes and Fashion Week. So it's special. Oh, you know? wow. Oh, wow. And, and what about this black one here? The, it's a black and what color base? It's black and natural. This is a baka, um, a really special material. It's a little hard to work with, um, but with lovely results, I hope. Uh-huh. Um, it's gorgeous. It's well, gorgeous with like polka dots in it. Yeah. Yeah, circles. That's right. <laughs> um, and, you know, these are sort of my favorites. These are my babies and so, uh, a technique that um, I've really enjoyed doing. It's sculptural headwear. So it's free wow. sculpture and, and the material sort of tells me what it wants to be. This has been a popular one here at Crowns. It's that bright pop of color with an undulating shape. It's, it's sensual and... and and uh, I think of um, high fashion as well. Yes, it's very fashionable to me. I could just, I was started to wear that color this past Saturday at an adult prom. So it would have just worked well with what I was wearing. Really beautiful, especially <laughs> with your skin tone and your hair. Yes. You could just like a little chignon to the side. <laughs> I'm here for styling tips as well. That's right, because <laughs> you have style with these hats and you really do. <laughs> so how long will you be here? Every night at the Goodman? Well, we're rotating in. So I'm one of the local millinery artists that's being featured as part of the production, the Crown's production. And okay. so this is my turn this week. I'll be here through tomorrow. To tomorrow evening's performance so this is my I'm sort of midway point right now okay and, and then someone else will be here yeah um, there are I think there are five other milliners that are also associated with this so again it's in the spirit of the crowns production and um, you know, we're so thankful to Regina Taylor and the Goodman folks for um, inviting us to participate. It was such an organic thing for us. Yes. Um, the, the love of hats on stage as well as, you know, in everyday life. So, yes. now, happy what, to be here. What's the price range of some of the hats? Well, um, it depends. There's the custom, um, I set at $150 for starters, and that's really to coordinate with an ensemble or, or for a particular event. What I'm featuring here is anywhere between $150 and $400. So I try to keep a nice range. Um, it depends on the amount of work. That's how I price it. Uh, I try to keep things reasonable and accessible because ideally we want hats on heads every day. That's yes. what we want to get to. And the nice thing is, is we can custom make something that goes perfectly with your hair or a particular ensemble or for a special event. So. Well, thank you so much for even taking the time out to share about hats. My pleasure. Thank yes. you so much. You're welcome. Take care. All right. <laughs> but I've been a seamster my entire life. I started sewing with my mother and turned to hats in 2005. And what was your inspiration behind the design? Um, usually it's, it's texture. It's really seeing the materials and it's going out and, and it's finding the materials and then color. It's always color. And that's the look right now. And do you think you like to use a hat or you look at the woman and then find a hat that suits her? Absolutely. It's all about personality, shape of her face, and, and men too, for that matter. And, and it's really about the event as well. So, um, so what type of hat would I be in? Oh, I think a fascinator. I think this is a fantastic <laughs> on you. A little bit of veil for attitude. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much. So nice to meet you. Thanks for stopping by.
part of the play are you doing in Crown? Part of the ensemble, and I have my several different yeah, types of characters that I um, several characters that I play. I play doctor player. I play the grieving grandmother. I play a child, an African queen. So I play a number of things. And what's your name? My name is Laura Walls. Laura Walls. Yes. Wow, that's amazing, the things that you do in this play. <laughs>
Crowns has been staged in more than 40 theaters across the U.S., Canada, and Puerto Rico to a combined audience of more than one million people. Crowns last appeared at the Goodman more than eight years ago during the 2003-2004 season. For this summer's 10th anniversary production, playwright and director Regina Taylor sought to build upon her original vision to make a bigger, richer, more resonant revival. Now dubbed a revisal, both a revision and a revival. The 10th anniversary production will feature some of the same powerful performance pieces and touching tales as the original, but a new seven-piece orchestra, an amped up set, additional musical pieces, and a notable shift in the setting. Taylor has switched her main character's place or origin from Brooklyn to the South Side's Inglewood neighborhood in a wink to her new home, Chicago. But at its core, Crowns remains a timeless tale of the traditions passed on from one generation to another and is sure to enchant audiences for decades to come. Hold on to your hats so we can hear what someone is saying about this great production, Crowns. When a group of girlfriends and I heard about this riveting stage play, Crowns, written and directed by world-renowned Regina Taylor, we just knew we had to purchase tickets to experience this gospel musical sensation that's a celebration of song, dance, our cultural history, and glamorous headwear. We simply cannot wait to be part of the audience experiencing this great production. Do what we've done. Get a group of friends together, order your tickets, and meet us at the Goodman Theater to see this dazzling stage play. You're listening to The Kathy McClure Show on IntellectualRadio.com. 